Okay then, Mining Simulator 2 just updated, this is their 17th overall update, but this is part 2 of the Halloween event, so that being said, let's get over what is new. Season 4 has come to an end, so now we have Season 5. There's a brand new zombie egg, a brand new event shop pet, and then we have a brand new layer and a brand new ore. Okay then, so obviously the first thing I'm going to check out is the new highest health block in the game. Again, I actually don't remember if this is the highest health block in the game period, or just for the specific event players, I honestly just don't remember, but the Hunter Stone's highest health block now is 320k i believe the previous highest was 250 so i mean hey a nice 70k increase and also we have a new ore which you can see we actually have right here so the best previous ore was the hollow crystal and then the pumpkin was the second best but now it's also the third so the pumpkin was 265 hollow crystal is 450 and now the ghostium is our new best ore to get in the halloween event area which is 1250 which is pretty darn high i was actually about to go surface we might as well get all of these really fast so i'm down here but yeah it does seem to be like a lot rarer as well like a multiple times rarer than the other two alls it took me a while to actually get it also i'll learn that uh, i kind of already bought it and i forgot to record it but yeah also i gotta buy the lantern of a wisp okay like instantly but yeah, you can buy four of these, and I don't think they're going to restock. I mean, the Mystical Potion one didn't, but it is so much more expensive than the Mystical Potion. And on top of that, without counting secrets and ancient pets, the Mystical Potion shiny version is just by far the best pet with the Hollow Candy, which is from the Challengers, being pretty close behind it. But if this new Jack-O-Lantern basically, Lantern pet is so much more expensive, just imagine how good it's going to be once I max it out. I can't wait. And then the last thing. Let's go check out the egg. I swear, okay, if the rarest tier of legendary is anywhere near as rare as the pumpkin patch pet, I'm going to be pretty upset and pretty mad. They're just, I already rented about it in the last video, but there's just no need for a normal legendary pet to be so rare. That's what secret and ancient pets are in the game for. And, oh, it's actually not as rare as a blaze okay I'll, I'll take it it isn't as rare although it's still a little bit like the more rare -er side i i don't really understand it I, I mean i guess i do to an extent like oh to make more casual players play the game for longer we just slap something really rare in an egg that is a normal legendary which i mean i guess works but it's like you already have secrets and ancient pets that are meant to be super rare why are you gonna make normal legendaries super rare as well but yeah, we have got like just a bit under 500 billion. So with that being said, I guess let's get grinding and I'll be back whenever we've done it. Well, I ended up running out of candy corn while grinding the new egg, as you can see. So I went back to mining, although I got clickbaited, okay? The Discord specifically said new layer singular, meaning there's only one new layer, which I thought, oh, is just 320k. Like I actually added in a second layer, which as you can see has 450k, so... Because it's like a little bit late in the video, there's probably going to be some comments actually pushing up my nerd glasses. There's a nuller layer, but yeah, there doesn't seem to be a nuller new ore, just one ore. But yeah, that's kind of cool though, even more blocks mining per minute, I'll take it. Okay then, we are back, and as you can see, we have done the index. I'm not really sure what's going on here, like, where are like the common and like the rare or whatever pet is meant to be the epic one? Why is it secret seer? Is this because the skull egg is actually overflowing with secret pets and it just moved down? Or are these part of this egg? I have no idea, honestly. And it doesn't really matter, I guess, because I can still claim the reward. So yeah, I just went for one of them, okay? Okay, I was going to say, where's my reward? I was clicking on it like five times. Twelve of my lucky boosts. Sure, I'll take it. But yeah, I decided I'm only going to go for one of the undead goals because they are still pretty rare, okay? And I actually completely forgot that um, Season 5 is here and you actually get a little bit of extra boost and luck if you have the premium pass. So I bought it. It made it a little bit easier to get with all of the boosts applied. So yeah, but I went for one of the undead ghouls and then I traded for the other three. So now we can also go claim the shiny version of the index. So yeah, for people that are wondering, I believe what I traded for all three of them combined. I did two different trades, but I actually traded my duality pets. I traded... Uh, two shiny level 20s and two regular level zeros. I'm pretty sure I lost but it's like so new. I mean, it's pretty hard to like actually get these pets. I'm not really big into trading, so I don't really care. And as long as like I have one of each of them left over, 
because also I believe these are also limited. I don't really mind too much. I don't really care about extras. I'm just happy with having one of them and being completely done. So yeah, I'll take it low. But we aren't done yet, okay? Because there is one more thing that we gotta do, okay, before we check out all of the stats. Also, all of the leveling them up to 20 and them more power free is we might as well check out the season 5 pets, you know? So I'm gonna go for the over uh, shiny version of the Overlord and the Neon Elemental, which I actually believe is from Bubblegum Simulator. I'm pretty sure these are both from Bubblegum Simulator, so they're just reusing these ones, which is fine. But yeah, we'll get shiny versions of these and also showcase them. And then I guess in another video coming out in a couple of days I'll do, I'll probably try and go for either the shiny pets or the ancient pets, if there actually is one in the Season 5 eggs. So that being said, let me go quickly buy all of these. And this is the fourth one for both of them. So now let me quickly go make them a shiny, and then I guess we'll level all of them up and compare their stats. Okay, then, we're back again, and as you can see now, we have leveled up all of the new pets that we got in this specific update to level 20, and applied the power 3 enchantment to a majority of them. I think it's kind of a waste to apply them to, like, tier 1 and tier 2 legendaries from the eggs, because, let's be honest, they're not going to be powerful enough for me to actually want to add them to my team ever, so it's kind of a waste. So, going forward, I'm not going to apply them to tier 1 and tier 2 legendary pets, although I will apply it to tier 3, and if the egg has got a tier 4, sure, that's completely fine. And then also other like rarer pets, like I guess like some Robux pets, some like challenges pets, the mining pass uh, tier 20 pets, and also like event shop pets, sure. But tier 1, tier 2s, I think it's kind of a waste. And also, I actually don't have any more power free enchantments because I used all of them on these five new pets, so nice. Anyway, going over the stats line, starting off with the egg pets first, okay. The amal Amalgam, I'm probably butchering it, okay, is the tier 1. And honestly, for a tier 1, it is pretty darn good, although f for like my teams, it's not exactly like good enough by a long shot. Like, I need like 10 times these stats, honestly, for it to really go my team now. Next up plan is the tier 2 Ghost Lord, which again, for a tier 2, these aren't like super rare pets. This is pretty darn good for people that need like a good uh, candy multiplier. I mean, I would definitely take it if I was like new to this specific event, but I mean, for me right now, not really worth it. Next up plan is the tier 3, which is the Demon Lord, which with power 3 and level 20, pretty darn good. 62k mining power and coin multiplier, and then 3.5k candy multiplier, and almost 3.5k speed as well, so pretty good overall. I think this actually might just go in my team. It depends on because I have a lot of these holo candies, and this might just push it off of the team, because I need a lot of candy multiplier, okay? I was tired of like grind for a couple hours, then having to go back to mining, so I just pay to win. <laughs> Can you blame me, Lou? Next up planet, we have the Undead Ghoul, which is 74k mining power, almost 70k can uh, coin multiplier, then 10k candy multiplier, and 5k speed, which again, very darn nice. Although, to say this is a lot, lot rarer than the Demon Lord, the stats aren't that big of a difference, like what, 10k mining power, I guess is alright. But I guess the biggest part is, like, the candy multiplier is almost three times higher. And the speed is, like, what, like, 1.5 times higher. So, I mean, that's where it makes the biggest impact. The mining power isn't, like, that big of a jump, to be honest. Next up, planning going over the Season 5 Tier 20 pets. Oh, that's a mouthful, which we're only going over the Tier 20 ones. Okay, like I said, I'm going to do a video separately. I'm trying to go for the egg pets, like the secrets and the ancients, potentially. So, I'll do like another video. But the Neon Pets, or the Neon Elemental, which is the free version, is pretty darn good for a free version. Although, for right now, I don't think you can do all of the challenges in one day. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but, I mean, Robux, am I right? So, technically free pet, but for me, I'm paying for it. But, so yeah, almost 93k mining power, almost, oh, actually, no, exactly 87k coin multiplier, 9.5k candy, and almost 5k speed, so pretty darn good almost 100k power love to see it okay that is definitely gonna be on my halloween team next one is the tier 20 paying version okay the, the premium version which has 117k coin multiplier 113k power mining power almost 13k candy multiplier and like almost 7k speed again pretty freaking good man definitely gonna want my team i mean and we're probably gonna get a lot more of these because like i said we're gonna be buying a lot more season five passes 
to try and get the secret and ancient if they have one, so we're going to be getting a lot of these, okay? And then lastly, okay, the best pet that we actually can get in this specific update, minus secrets and ancient pets, okay, from the egg, is the Lantern o Wisp pet, which is kind of, like, astonishing how good these stats are. 159,000 mining power. Oh, boy, love to see it. 150k coin multiplier. Almost 16k candy multiplier and almost 9k speed? What? Just what? And also, as you can see here, I have got the previous uh, uh, update's best pet. So, the pumpkin patch is the best normal legendary pet you can get from the harvest egg. Which, I mean, is pretty good. I mean, you know, it's like pretty darn good, although it is way too rare. And I'm not going to rant again, okay? It's way too rare for what it actually is. The Blaze Pet is the best in the Skull Egg, minus Secrets and Ancients, okay, and is pretty darn good. And if we compare that to the new best pet in the Zombie Egg, I mean, it's a pretty good jump. I am pretty happy with that. So this actually should be pretty close to the Demon Lord, right? Yeah, it's actually very, very, very close to the Demon Lord. But as you can see, the Demon Lord actually has better Candy Multiplier and better Coin Multiplier, whereas the Blaze has better Mining Power and more Speed. So... Very similar pets overall, to be honest, but I think I can actually make a couple of Demon Lords. Yeah, so I mean, the Demon Lord is just way easier to get, honestly, than the Blaze. And the stats are pretty similar, but look, the Candy Multiplier is way, just way better. And also, the Hello Candy is the uh, Challenge Pets, which, as you can see, we already have a lot of them. Which, again, 100k, so I mean, still pretty darn good. And then the Mystical Potion was the previous updates only event shop pet which i mean comparing it to the new one it's like a 1.5 times increase on like almost all of its stats heck yeah actually the speed is practically the same but this has like double candy and then like for coin and mining power it's like almost a 1.5 times increase so i mean just an overall increase okay so we actually need to go ahead and lock all of these and then equip best to see what pets are gonna go on my team Okay, Lynn, let's press equip best, and we're in the Halloween event play, so these are technically our best Halloween event pets, and I guess we'll go to the overworld in a second, just like see if our team changes up at all, just in case we have any better pets, but honestly, these pets are pretty darn good, it might not really change, but like maybe one or two pets, but also, no surprise, my best new pet is the Lantern of Wisp, I mean, before this update, the Mystical Potion was my best pet, which was the first event shop pet, so... The Lantern of Wisp is just honestly a straight upgrade. It's no surprise, it's number one. The Overlord is my third best pet, which is the Season 5 pay to win version for tier 20 pets. So, I mean, hey, pretty cool. Hollow Candy is the challenge pet. Then we have the Neon Elemental, which is the free to play version of the tier 20 Season 5 pass. Then we actually have the Undead Ghoul and the Demon Lord, which are from the um, Zombie Egg. So, I mean, hey, I will gladly take it, okay? I will gladly take it. And if we actually didn't like pay to win for like five of these Hello Candies, I think the rest of my team would just be Demon Lords. So if I take off four of these, do I have enough to make four shiny Demon Lords? It looks like I definitely can. So yeah, if I just made more Demon Lords, the rest of my team would just be Demon Lords instead of Hello Candies. Because also, if I didn't have that many Demon Lords, I guess the Blaze and potentially the Pumpkin Patch might just slide onto my team. But nope. This is my best team for the Halloween event, but let's quickly visit Homeworld and see if I actually have a slightly better team, okay, Lynn, because we might have a little bit more power that we can squeeze out of it, okay, because these are, like, specifically for the Halloween event place, but also to have a look at the power of my team right now, we have 1.15 million power, which is insane, and I think it's actually the first time my power's ever gone over a million, and we also have... 74,000 speed, which is pretty darn good. Anyway, let's go ahead and equip best, and did it even do anything? Oh, the eternal heart. So yeah, <laughs> so as you can see, the Halloween pets are honestly pretty darn good in general. They actually make up 10 out of the 11 pets on my team right now, and if I just quickly go ahead and buy a couple more season 5 mining passes, it won't be for very long. I just need to buy four more. And we have another Overlord. And actually another Neon. So Undead Ghoul would also be kicked off my team. But yeah, the internal, I think it's like, yeah, it's just a, it's like a tiny, tiny bit better mining power and actually speed as well. So my power now basically doesn't really change. The only difference, like, you can't really tell how much power we went up by. It's like, by what, like 5,000-ish. 
Although speed went up by like, what, 0.5-ish? So, not like a huge difference. So, I mean, yeah, that just goes to show you like how good these Halloween pets are. And we don't even have like some of the best pets because Secrets and Ancients, which I've already mentioned and you're probably tired of me mentioning it, but I, I feel like I had, kind of have to because I get so many people saying, why didn't you go for them, bro? Actually, you didn't complete the update because you didn't go for the Secrets and the Ancient pets. Do you know how rare they are? And I only have one account to grind on for them? Heck no. I ain't going for them. If I get them, nice. If I don't, I'm going for the ledgers, okay? That's all I really care about. But yeah, here's what the pets are I have equipped look like, though. They look pretty darn cool. But yeah, that is the best team I can actually make. I'm going to go ahead and actually equip the Demon Lord because I am probably going to need to grind for more Candy Corn because, yes, we have now completed this specific update for, like, the egg. It looks like we're going to be getting a part three. And also, this specific update only took me like a couple days complete i know the power of trading and not trying to go for a one in two million pet on your own it's um, amazing right so yeah but i'm gonna equip all of my best halloween pets because we are gonna have a lot of candy multiplier now to try and grind for the next egg because we're probably gonna need more than just a couple hundred billion it might be just be worth like trying to grind out a couple trillions honestly